Come into your mountain pose position. Get your toes straight ahead, knees going towards your second toes. So get everything aligned, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders. Get your core activated, ribs towards your spine and up, and shoulders back and down. And reach your crown toward the ceiling. And just take a moment, focusing inward, breathing deep, exhaling any stress or tension. And as you get, keep that inner focus through the class, just kind of allow yourself to be aware of what's going on at every moment. And then inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level, keeping your shoulders down. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, keep those elbows up. Inhale, arms out to the front, keep the shoulders still down. And then exhale, clasping your hands behind you, press the fingers down and lift your heart. Stretch your head back and keep dropping those shoulders. Take a few breaths and on an exhalation, pivot at your hips, come on over as deeply as you want. So spread your toes, make sure you're not gripping. <clears throat> Bring your hands toward your head so those shoulders start working. Kind of move your chin around, get your neck released. And then lift your ribs, drop your sitting bones, and start at the bottom of the spine, just winding slowly back up and lifting your heart. Stretch your head back, spread your toes, and again, don't forget to breathe. And as you stretch your spine, just feel what's going on. And then inhale upright and release your arms. Take a moment in mountain pose, just noticing how that circulation is increasing. And we'll do it again. Arms at shoulder level, stretching out through your fingertips. Exhale your hands to your heart. Stretch to the front, shoulders down. And then clasp the opposite way behind you. Press the fingers down and lift your heart again. Stretch the head back as you lift your chest, and then exhale over. And again, just as deep as it feels right today, hands toward your head, just move those shoulders around a little, move the chin around a little, get everything releasing. And then again, with your knees slightly bent, work all the way up from the bottom of the spine and into the back bend. And again, stretching, lifting. Remember, don't raise your chin too much, though. You want the neck to keep stretching. And on an inhalation, come upright, release your arms, and just take a few moments feeling as that energy moves through you. And we'll do our side stretches next. So keep one arm down, bring the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away and lean to the side and stretch. Push the foot you're leaning away from down. Get those ribs opening. And remember, don't lean forward. So you want to look up. You can look up toward that arm, but not down toward the floor. And then inhale to the top. Exhale that arm down. Shoulders relaxing. Bring the other arm out. Keep the shoulder down. Palm up and hand over your shoulder. Stretch the hands and lean to the other side. And again, deepen as much as you'd like with that foot pushing down that you're moving away from. And stretch out through your head and fingertips. Feel the ribs, let them stretch. Feel the contraction on that opposite side. And then inhale up, release into mountain pose. Shoulders back and down and crown to the ceiling. And it's time for our spinal twist. So get those bones separating so they've got room to move. Arms out, shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows for this one. Bring your arms next to your ears. Stretch your spine apart. Exhale, turning to either side. Take a breath. As you exhale, pivot over. Just deepen as much as you'd like, lifting your sitting bones for some 
Back of the legs stretch. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And with your arms still by your ears, still in the twist, work your way up as you inhale. Excuse me, inhale and lift your heart. Drop your shoulders and pull your elbows back a little bit more. Look slightly up, but not too much. Don't crunch your neck. And then inhale again up, exhaling around to the center. And switch the arms around for balance. And stretch everything in. Exhale to the opposite side. Another breath in. And this time just gently exhaling on that side down. Take a few breaths as you get into your forward position. Lift your sitting bones, relax your shoulders, and then slowly in the twist, work your way up. Keep the weight on both feet, and again, into that upper body back then. Take a few breaths there, just stretching out through the top of your head and your elbows. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center. Stretch your arms up, extended mountain, and then turn your palms out, bring it to shoulder level, pivot at your hips, and again, stretch it out halfway down. Elbows, knees, spine straight, and then just drop into ragdoll and hang. Take a moment there, or bring your hands behind your legs and pull in even deeper if you like that stretch on the back of your body. And again, bringing your hands to the center. Roll one more time from the bottom of the spine all the way to standing. Shoulders coming back and down. And again, into mountain pose. As you get into your mountain pose position, just take a moment again, feeling your spine, noticing what's going on in your core. Is it still activated? And are your shoulders relaxing? What's going on for you today? Check your feet, lift the toes, get the base of the toes right across that ball of the foot area connecting, and then put your toes down and spread them out. Keep that one foot grounded. Make sure that the ankle, knee, and toes line up. That second toe all the way up to the spine, all the way up to the shoulder. Spine activated with the core, and we'll do our little balance warm up. So sink into that foot, spreading your toes, and bring the other foot up. You can stay low if your balance challenge today, or bring it up higher toward your chest. And wherever you are, you can wrap around the front or under your leg and circle your ankle. Both ways, get it nice and flexible. And then again, straighten it out and put that foot down. As you get back grounded into both feet, just feel what's going on for you today and switch to the other foot. So again, base of the toe into that ball of the foot area, lifting all the way up, all nice and grounded and connected, core working to support you. Shoulders back and down to keep everything aligned and bring the other foot up. And again, as high as it wants to go today, before you circle your ankle, just move it around both ways, get it all flexible and working. And again, straighten it out as you return to mountain pose. Take a moment there, just focus inward, closing your eyes, feeling the breath, feeling your body. And let's bring the hands behind you onto your shoulder blades. So heel of the palm on the bottom of your shoulder blades, fingertips down towards your waist towards your hips, feet hip width apart, elbows toward each other so you feel that heart open a little bit more. Keep your hips right above your ankles and rotate to look up. So keep stretching through the base of your neck, out through the crown as you lift your chest and look slightly up. So nice little supported back bend. Take a few breaths there, just breathing and lengthening. Maybe go a little deeper if you love it. And then chin towards your chest, inhaling, come on back upright, release your arms. Take a few breaths, tension out. 
Angle your feet slightly out, and we'll do our pelvic tilt. And so again, make sure the knees go toward the second toes, even as you turn the feet out, so you want your whole leg moving. You're going to keep the knees going toward your toes, not beyond. Shoulders right above your toes as well. So position your hands above your knees, but don't press in. And then sitting bones and crowns stretch apart. So a nice, good, long stretch through your spine to begin with. Spread those toes out. And then drop your ribs toward the front and your sitting bones push way out and back and up behind you as you look to the front. So remember, no pressure in your hands, just positioning. Keep those shoulders above your toes. So a nice back bend to start with. And then as you exhale, Pull those ribs in, get that core working as you tuck the sitting bones down and forward. Look between your toes. And feel that whole spine rounding. Nice forward bend. And then inhale back into the back bend, lifting your heart, stretching your spine. Remember, keep stretching through the neck. Exhale and right. Tuck the chin just a little. And a few more times through with your breath, going into the back bend on the inhales and the forward bends on the exhalations. Keep that whole pelvis moving, breathing with it, and relaxing. Feel your spine doing a lot of work here, as well as that hip and pelvis area. And then the next time you're rounded forward, just pause and then inhale your way back up and into mountain pose. As you get back there, feel that activated spine and notice your breath. Bring your hands to your heart. We'll look at them as you bring them toward the ceiling. Another little back bend, following those thumbs behind you as you gaze. Exhale. Pivot forward as you bring your hands first to your heart and then dropping into the right foot. Slide your hands up under your knees, stretch and straighten in that halfway up position. So elbows, knees, and spine, all of them straight. Sitting bones and crowns stretch apart. Exhale back into Randall, palms together, inhale. And again, hands to your heart, shoulders down, still down as you bring your hands up. Another little back bend or a deep one if you love it. And swan dive forward, arms separating, palms toward the floor, pivoting at your hips, stretch it out halfway, drop into ragdoll. Slide your hands up under your knees, stretch and straighten. Exhale again, and let's go to the floor. So bend your knees and all the way down to our child pose transition. Hands palms up at your feet, forehead toward the floor in front of you. Take a breath or two. Relax those shoulders. Deep breath in. Exhale, just relax. And then inhale, sitting up on your heels. Bring your hands behind and just clasp the fingertips together. Press the knuckles gently toward the floor, toward your toes, toward the floor, wherever they go, and lift your heart. And again, stretch the neck as you drop the shoulders and lift the heart. And then as you exhale, pivot forward. You can lift your hips off your heels as much as you need to. Hands coming up toward the ceiling, head down toward the floor. And then keep moving those hands toward your head a little bit further for some shoulder work. So the hips can come up if they need to. They can stay on your heels, whichever works for your knees. And then inhaling, rotate your face forward as you bring your hands back down toward your hips, sitting back up. And lift your heart, looking slightly up. And then release that. And take a moment to relax. Feel your shoulders a little bit more worked all the way across the back. And of course, we're going to do that again with the hands clasped the opposite way. So whichever thumb was on the outside, shift it over. 
with the other one outside. And again, rotate the shoulders slightly toward each other and down as you look up and stretch, lifting your heart, and then pivot at your hips, exhaling, coming all the way over. And again, forehead toward the floor, hands toward your head. Take a breath, just relax. Let the whole body get a good forward bend. And once again, face to the front as you inhale back up, bringing your hands down again toward your feet. And release into that kneeling position. And then slide off and come into step position with the legs out in front. Press out through your heels, toes lifted, shoulders back and down, core supporting your spine, spine stretching open. Don't forget to breathe. So get those sitting bones slightly behind you and bend one knee, bring the foot to the opposite thigh and let that knee come down toward the floor. And so just working that outside of the hip to get it a little bit more lubricated. Take a moment and breathe, exhaling tension. Just let it come down as much or as little as it needs and wants to today. You can put your hands there with weight but not pressure. If you need to move this front leg over to the side for a little easier opening in that hip joint, feel free to do that. And just breathe and relax. Let the knee do what it needs to do to loosen things up in that hip. And when it feels like it's getting down about as far as it wants to go, just back off a little bit. Breathe. Exhale. As it relaxes, maybe it'll go a little further because that's what muscles will do when you let them, but don't force it. And then bring your foot and knee into your hands or wrap your arms around and pull the leg in. And we're gonna move it back and forth for a little bit more outside of the hip rotation, getting that synovial fluid in your hip warmed up. If it feels good and you want more intensity, you can bring your leg higher or closer, it's up to you. But remember, shoulders down, no, intent, no tenseness across the upper body. And as that feels a little looser, go ahead and release that leg. Feel the difference. Remember, that's the yoga perspective, is noticing how your body responds to these things. So, of course, we need to balance and do the other leg. So bend that knee, put to the other thigh. And again, just go ahead, let that knee come down or add the weight but not pressure from your hand. Keep the toes and knees straight on that, up on that leg that's in the front or bring it over to the side, but still knee and toes up. Take a breath. Just let that hip start relaxing a little bit more. Deep breaths, always relaxing. Just allow everything to go where it needs to go. If it's up, that just means you're a little bit tight on that side. One tip may be easier to work, one may be a little tighter. As creatures of habit, that often happens. We do the same things over and over and use things the same way. Knee and ankle into your hands or pull it in on this side and move that rotator. So just back and forth. From side to side. If that's not enough, remember you can always do it more intensely. So do what's right, personal practice for your body. And as that gets looser and ready to release, just bring the leg again back to the center. Take a moment there, feel your hips. Bend your knees, bring the heels in near your body, and knees out to the side. Cross your hands under your toes, and just let those knees come out, opening through that inner thigh area this time. Shoulders down, crown high. Keep the core activated for support. And then we'll bring the hands behind, just a little right under your shoulders, fingertips or palms down, whatever works for your arms. And just a little pressure into your arms or hands as you let those legs maybe come down a little further out toward the sides. 
Take a breath. Exhale, any tension. Let the heart open, lift your chest slightly, stretch the neck, keep breathing, and just relax. Bottoms of your feet slightly up toward the ceiling for a little bit different alignment in those knees and hips, making it maybe a little easier. And then hands again to the front, lift your knees, and bring the legs back into stack position. Take a moment as you get there, just feel those hips a little bit more ready to do some work. So, oh, let's dive our dolphin because that's always a favorite. Sitting bones behind you, bring that right foot to your inner left thigh, knee out to the side. Bend your left knee, bring it to the front with the heel back near your hip, but not under it. Stretch up, get that spine open. We're going to twist, so turn toward the right knee and get ready for our diving dolphin. Tuck your chin slightly, bring those ribs back. Exhale, forehead down toward the knee. Rotate your face forward and lift your heart. Coming up in a slight back bend. <coughs> Sorry. And as always, just dive your dolphin down as you exhale and lift the dolphin up to the sun and the sky on the inhalation. Shoulder blades toward your waist, whichever direction you're going as you move. Take a few breaths, allowing your body to dive and leap like your dolphin. And the next time you come up, pause at the top and then exhale around to the center. Release your legs back to the front, coming into stacked position. Feel your spine a little bit more activated with that twist energy. And we'll dive our dolphin the other direction along that shore. So foot to the inner thigh, knee to the front, heel back near your side. Take a breath up. This hip slightly up as you turn so that your whole body can turn toward that. What is that left knee? Ribs in, exhaling, and coming down. Face forward, inhaling, lifting the heart, coming up. Stretch the neck both directions as you dive your dolphin under with the exhalations and lift to the sun and the sky as you come up. And just breathe with it. Allow your body to feel the spine moving, feel your breath guiding you and diving and leaping as much as your dolphin wants. As you come up, pause again, exhaling to the center and releasing your legs to the front. In your staff position, just feel, activate your core, stretch your spine apart, bring your feet to the end of the mat, use your core for support, and roll to the floor. As you get all the way down, just take a moment, feel on your body. Sitting bones slightly toward your heels, press the back down, core active. Bring those heels in right next to your sitting bones. Feet flat on the floor, pressing the spine down. We're going to go up into bridge. So hands, palms down next to you at your hip level. Shoulders down toward the floor as well. Exhale, pull the whole spine down to the floor. Inhale, lift those hip bones straight up. Come onto your shoulders, not your neck. Keep the back of your head on the floor. Take your hands under your hips. Straighten your elbows. Press the hands and shoulders into the floor, all the way up to the arms. Feet evenly into the floor. Remember, make sure you're not spreading those knees apart. Roll in. And keep those knees straight up. Lift the hips maybe a little bit more. And then release your hands, your shoulders, shoulder blades, ribs, and whole spine down. Take a moment as you get back into that neutral position. Just feel what's activated for you. Maybe the core, maybe the shoulders, maybe the heart. And we're going to do that again. So once more, hands down, spine down. 
Inhale, lift the hips. Clasp your hands the opposite way, so other thumb on the outside, other little finger on the inside, and again, work up onto your shoulders, not your neck. Knees straight up, not spreading apart. Hips lifting, and heart as well, up toward the ceiling. Get as much bridge position as you want. Lifting through the hips, sinking into the feet and the shoulders. And then releasing your hands, releasing your shoulders. Slowly bring your whole body back down. Sitting bones toward your heels. Bring your knees up toward your heart. Just give your back a good stretch. And then bring your arms out to T position. Keep your knees right above your hips. Roll the knees over to one side as you turn and look toward the opposite side. So just a gentle twist, bringing the knees as far toward the floor as they want to go today. And turning for that neck area twist, knees down for that lower back twist. And keep your shoulders down, making that middle back enter its twist as much as it wants. Take a breath, hands, palms up or down, your choice. And then heels toward your hips, roll onto your back. And of course, straighten things out as much as you need to. Knees still above the hips, bring those knees to the opposite side as you turn toward the other arm. And again, just deepen your twist as far as it wants to go. Your knees may not make it to the floor, that's okay. Just go where your low back needs to go today. Turn your head only as much as your neck wants and keep those shoulders down. Take a few breaths. Remember, the more you exhale, the more those ligaments release and the spine happens into its twist. Take a breath. And again, when you're ready to release, heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, and bring your feet to the floor. Slide the legs out. Bring your hands near your sides, palms up, slightly away from your hips. Shoulders down toward the floor. A little arch through that lower back, whatever's a neutral spine for you. Exhale, just let your body soften and sink into that surface beneath you. Draw your toes toward each other slightly, and then let them go. Whole lower body just softening and sinking. We did some hip work, some back work today. Just let everything release in the shoulders as well. Deep breath in, just soften your face, move your jaw around, let everything relax. Just deepen into your corpse position and totally release, letting your body soften and sink as it grows heavier with each exhalation. Let your body go deep into that earth connection. And as your body sinks, just allow awareness of your body to release. The earth will support you. Just let it go. As you release thoughts of your body, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them go as well. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. No need to focus on any content of any thought. Just let it flow in and out as easily as your breath. Letting your mind just drift and your body just sink. And allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Focus inward. Find that peace deep within. And just let that peace guide you ever deeper into the awareness of release. Deep breaths, focusing only on the peace within.
If you have time to keep relaxing today, take as much time as you have. If you need to get ready for the rest of your day now, just begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more fully, begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. And with each breath, just give yourself a good stretch and breathe. And when you're ready for your final yoga hugger of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, drawing your heels up toward your hips and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that good appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, Bring your head and feet to the floor. Roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready. Whatever is ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.